One challenge when treating the adult acquired flat foot is controlling forefoot abduction. Oftentimes, the patient will be fitted for a foot orthosis or a brace, and they will then be observed to be slipping laterally off of the orthotic foot plate. This slippage laterally is best controlled with a wall or barrier applied to the foot plate of the orthotic. Essentially, that's what a lateral flange is applied to the brace or the foot orthotic. The flange provides a barrier to restrict lateral forefoot abduction. To determine when to order the lateral flange ahead of time, it is important for the practitioner to watch the patient walk and look for any degree of forefoot abduction during the stance phase of gait. When in doubt, order the lateral flange it can always be removed later with simple grinding in the office, but in most cases, it's comfortable and provides an important control of the forefoot in adult acquired flat foot. Conversely, a medial flange tends to set up a ramp medially that the foot can slide laterally on, and that lateral slippage can be eliminated by grinding away the medial arch or avoiding the medial flange altogether. In general, medial flanges work best on cavus feet. Lateral flanges work best on flat feet.